Hey guys, I do have a Wednesday morning editorial for you. It's referenced a relatively new officer that is being charged with a couple of charges. So he's on administrative leave and he might be in trouble here if this is termed a domestic dispute. Um, I'm going to put two links in the description box below. One link, uh, one story is going to give us a quote from his lieutenant, while the other story is going to tell us kind of what happened. So there's two stories in the description box below. Uh, one gives you additional information, while one leaves out the quote from the lieutenant. Let's look at it and see what we're talking about here. AJC.com gives us our first story. An Athens Clark County police officer has been placed on administrative leave following his arrest on charges of battery and criminal trespass, the department announced Tuesday. Sadiki Kamau Mick Barnett, 26, of Athens faces multiple charges related to an incident that took place Monday, police spokesman Lieutenant Sean Barnett said in a news release. Mick Barnett has been charged with simple battery and criminal trespass to property, both misdemeanors. According to online records, Mick Barnett was booked into the Athens Clark County Jail where he remains without bond, jail records show. According to the agency's announcement, Mick Barnett has been with the department since May of 2019 as a recruit officer. Mick Barnett was undergoing extra training mandated by the department for all new officers, Sean Barnett told the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Lieutenant Sean Barnett said, while he's a sworn officer, he had not yet completed our additional training that would have allowed him to be on his own. Mick Barnett has been placed on administrative leave while the department conducts an internal investigation, the announcement said. Redandblack.com gives us more information telling us that the mother of Mick Barnett's children called police around 12.20 p.m. Monday saying Mick Barnett had grabbed her by the arm and dragged her out of the garage door at Mick Barnett's house after they got into an argument, according to the report. She told police Mick Barnett locked her out of the house, but she began banging on the garage door because she needed her phone and her keys. Mick Barnett left them at the front door, which is where she called police, according to the report. Mick Barnett told the police he had grabbed her and escorted the woman to the garage, then put her phone and her keys outside the front door so she could retrieve them. He wouldn't let her back inside the house as she had a firearm of his and he didn't want to take a chance of anything happening, according to the report. The woman told the police she left her phone recording a video while it was inside the house, but the video had been deleted. Mick Barnett told the police he had deleted the video after he saw the phone was recording when he went to give it back to her. The woman told the police the video was also not in the phone's trash bin, and Mick Barnett said he had not deleted it from there, according to the report. So here this this uh, fairly new officer, what coming up on two years now with the department, uh, is on administra administrative leave. Now, the fact that he was a new officer still going through mandated training, less than two years on the force. Do you think he's going to get fired? Just asking. Um, if he had 10 or 15 years service, maybe he'd be okay. He'd be set in stone at a hey, blue line, you're staying. But he's the FNG, the new guy. So he's got to go. Uh, you think that's what's going to happen to this guy? Now, of course, there's two charges for this guy, simple battery. And he said... You know, he did admit to, to grabbing her, but he said, I escorted her out and then left her. Well, you put your hands on her. Once you escorted her by grabbing her, that's simple battery. You, you can't do that. Uh, so he's been charged with that. But also, love how he says, <clears throat> you know, well, I, she had one of my handguns. She had a gun. I feared for my life. I had to get her out. See, they always play that card. I feared for my life. I thought she had a gun. I had to put her outside. Why would she, if she did have a gun, <coughs> why would she grab one of his handguns? Maybe she feared for her life. She was recording. He is a cop, and you know police do have a high tolerance for domestic anger, uh, domestic anger management. So, um, but they always say, I fear for my life, you know. Um, but the criminal trespass is what gets me because it's his house. She's the mother of his children. It's his house, but he's being charged with criminal trespass. I wonder if that's because he, maybe she lives there and he put her outside and wouldn't let her back in. Maybe that automatically made, I don't, 
understand the criminal trespass there. I've looked through seven to 12 different media outlets trying to look for information on this story. These are the only two I found that really differentiate the most. Uh, most of the news outlets, as you know, they give you the same information. It's just reading the same thing over and over. Uh, this one kind of added in what happened, so I gave it to you. But my question is, why criminal trespass? Uh, I don't think there was a restraining order. He would have been charged with violation of RO. But he definitely, I don't know. I'm asking some of you guys. Maybe somebody out there knows some more information. Maybe somebody from Georgia has some more information on this. But new cop with anger management already. I don't know. Maybe she has the anger management issues. Who knows? He's the one being charged, though. Is it because the man's always charged and not the woman? Although women have been charged. I'm throwing a lot of questions out there for you guys to kind of chew on and discuss in the comment section below. Let me know. Oh, I don't know what I was going to say. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers, to include those that throw their baby mamas out the house and from coast to coast. 